kingdom of God is not in words, but in the demonstration of power, of power, in the demonstration of spirit. The letter killeth, but the spirit gives life. I'm talking to somebody right now. So today I want to minister on something. That's called just tell your neighbor the power in the spirit. You can take your seats if you can. Uh, uh, uh. You can simply see it. Now you know what you have. God set in the circumference of himself. Before the eons of time and before anything called eon was there, God decided there will be a Sarah, an Okoro, a John. In spirit, the embassy sitting somewhere. Will be having a lot of things that I don't need another person to protect them but an anointing from a prophet. I decree and declare something that is in you will come out. I said something in you will come out. You see, you might be sitting there and wondering, but, but I don't know whether I have something exactly why Adam could be lonely in a garden yet his rib was his wife I call it to come out in the name of Jesus I said I call your eyes in the name of Jesus I read the book of Luke Dr. Luke Luke was a physician who was so convinced by the gospel that Paul preached that he became a disciple of Paul. May someone become your disciple by the gospel you preach. I will start from verse number 13 of Luke chapter number 1. But the angel said to Zacharias, verse number 13 of chapter number 1 of Luke, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. Say John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Verse number 17. And John shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah. In the spirit and the of uh, two kings. Second Kings chapter number 2. Let me start from verse number 12. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and ran them into pieces. In other words, Elisha became naked. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. He removed his own clothes and took the clothes of Elijah. So he was naked and then he became clothed. Are we talking? Verse number 15 says, And when the sons of the prophets Elijah, which we to view or we in view at Jericho, saw him, they said the spirit of Elijah rests on Elijah. Can we get to the books of, book of Numbers, Numbers 11, 17? This is what he says, And I will take of the spirit which is upon you, Moses. Are you ready? He says, And I will take the spirit which is upon you. Of the spirit. Say off. Say off. The Bible has told us that 
the men shall come in the power and then the spirit of Elijah it says in the power then the spirit of Elijah there is a big difference between the spirit and the power the word power that we find there is dunamis and the word spirit is the word numa numa means the wind of the spirits it denotes the character the way of doing things but the power signifies the miracles because it comes from the word dunamis or violence so he shall go out in the violence of Elijah to perform miracles and act exactly like Elijah but he is not Elijah so there is a difference between impartation and replication of a spirit I feel something Noah Elijah was Elisha was no longer Elisha in 2 Kings chapter number 2 Elisha is Elisha and is simply a son of a prophet in 2 Kings chapter number 3 from verse number 10 11 12 Elisha is now the prophet of a nation why he was no longer Elisha there was now Elijah manifesting in Elisha oh he was still not getting what I'm talking about may you catch your own right now in the name of Jesus you are not going to just be you there will be angel manifesting inside you I feel somebody you are not getting my point there is a point when I can lay hands on you so that you can perform miracles like I do but then there is a point when you're just sitting down like this and someone says angel it's another thing when you understand things that I say and preach and do but it's another angle when what I say is entered inside you and it's become part of your DNA impartation deals with receiving ability I know you are not getting what I'm trying to do with you there is a, listen to me listen to me many of you are waiting for somebody to lay hands on you for you to receive impartation impartation means in part it's like a part of somebody's anointing joshua did not receive replication of spirit of moses because the bible says you shall lay hands on him he shall receive the spirit of wisdom in full not your spirit when Moses is anointing the elders the Bible says take off your spirit a part of your spirit not all of it when angel is around water not a part of it he is water manifesting an angel I feel somebody doesn't understand what I'm talking about may you receive the replication I said may you receive the replication Kingdom of God is not in word, but in the demonstration of power. Of power. We have preachers that when we look at them, instead of seeing the glory, you see poverty. When the supernatural materializes into the natural, the way you talk becomes different. We want power and joy unspeakable. The problem is you want to arrive before you depart. Is fulfilled whether you are watching from the island of Tumbaktu, Jamaica, Japan, wherever you are, a blessing, a supernatural acceleration is coming into your house, into your bedroom, into your living room, into your kitchen, in every house, in every place, even in a toilet. It's God. The kingdom of God is not in words, but in the demonstration.
position of power. I remember one time, I mean, I've seen my father and, you know, I was very, very afraid to talk to my father and, and I, you know, not like afraid, I was in awe. Amen. When you meet somebody who hears from God. Oh, yes. And when I grew up, I didn't have an example of anyone hearing from God. In fact, the day I told my father I hear from God, I was beaten up. My biological father could not understand it. I'm in grade two. And my father is a preacher. And every time he gets to the platform, he says, God say it. So I figured out, he also hears from God. So when I had a visitation from the Lord in grade two, I said, let me tell him. Because it seems this is common to this guy. He preaches, he says, God say it. I went to him, fivefold ministry. Now notice, I don't know if you understand. So I was in awe to find somebody who does what I do at a higher level. Amen. I sat down there and I said, as I sat there, I said, God, there is something that comes from this man that I also want to be a partaker of. You see, anointing, you don't announce it. It's like pregnancy. You can't hide it. You can hide it for two or three months. But when it gets to four or five months, boy, you are in trouble. Girl, you are in trouble. People will see it. Uh -huh. You have been busy. Okay. Now, I would come every day with my wife and would meet him and, and he would be talking. Not very simple sitting there. One day I saw him wearing this suit and I said, this guy knows how to dress himself. Now, I don't know the design. I don't know anything. I just said to my wife, let's go shopping. I get into the shop. I hear the Holy Spirit directing me to a certain corner. I saw there was only one suit like that left and I didn't even know it's the same suit as that one I had seen. And I wore it, I said, for now, I'll just wear these ones. Until God blesses me to that level. I wore that suit to meet him. When he met me, he said, hey, you're wearing this, the same suit. It's the same designer. No, 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 you're still not getting what I'm talking about. It's now a replication of the anointing that's taking place. It's no longer me wanting to be like him. I was already him in me and me in him. And we were one in ah, somebody. Cabro Cadea. And I'm moving anyway. I'm in a place called Mayfair in London and with my wife. And I just thought, let's go to that shop there. And the shop had these bad shoes outside. But when we got in, Amen. then we realized, there it is, the shoe that my father wears. The outside of the shop, no, very ugly shoes. Inside, the actual shoe he wears. Then I began to ask God, what is this? And God said, I'm doing a replication of gift, a duplication of anointing. You're still not getting with me. You're, you're, still not, you're still not flowing with me. So many folk want God to do something. No, no, no. Men of God, but what about, are you not talking about ring incarnation? Let me explain to you. John had the spirit of Elijah, but was not Elijah. The Pharisees and the leaders came to John and said, are you Christ or are you Elijah? And John said, I'm neither. So by the ways of John, we know he was not Elijah. The disciples went to Jesus and said, Jesus, you said, uh, what are you talking about? The, the, the scriptures are saying that John comes first. And Jesus said, that Elijah is the same John. No, 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 no. Here comes the rub. If Jesus is saying John is Elijah, then they get to the transfiguration and the disciples see Elijah and they turn to Jesus and say, Behold, we see Elijah and Moses 
and they didn't say John and Moses. We are not talking of transmigration of anointing. Oh, you gotta learn. You learned a big word there. We are not talking of transmigration of a gift. We are talking of replication of a gift. That God looks at you and says, this one, there will be an anointing. You see, you no longer talk broke when you are a major son. You can't. You can't talk broke. Even when you don't have two dollars, you, you feel... Someone says, can I have a dollar? You say, ah, uh, uh, brother, I don't give people dollars, you know, I give. But you know you don't have, but you find yourself not understanding how you can kill you. There is something that happens in you. From the time you were somewhere else. And then you came to a level where you are now getting into a duplication of gifts now Toyota doesn't seem like a nice car anymore Mazda mm, you now look from, from Mercedes to Bentley that's what you you grew an appetite I feel somebody doesn't get what I'm talking about when duplication of spirit listen it's no longer the power because he shall come in the power and the spirit in the power and then the spirit of Elijah the power part of it is the violence and if you're understanding the book of Malachi I don't want to, to dwell on that too much but you get understand the book of Malachi prophesies that before the coming of the Lord they shall be a breaker he calls him a breaker what many theologians call the breaker anointing then Jesus comes and speaks of John and says until John the gospel suffers violence and the violent take it by force and the word suffers violence there if you read it in the Greek it actually talks or depicts sheep coming out of their pen by first breaking out and the pens at that time were made of stones and the picture you see the Greek painting there is of sheep breaking through stones exactly the prophecy of Malachi that is how we have the breaker before the coming of the Lord uh, now 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 the Bible tells us it is appointed for men to die once and then what happens judgment and resurrection follows huh? Huh? yet Elijah went to heaven by flesh in flesh so if then he came by in John and he became John if John was the body of Elijah and then dies it's okay now we're waiting for his resurrection but here the bible says in malachi before the tribulation which is the second coming the time jesus came is called the first coming we are now waiting for the second coming and the second coming happens after the rapture After the tribulation that's another story now it tells us that if then Elijah is going to come again and then die again he's dying twice so John cannot be Elijah otherwise Elijah is to die twice because when Elijah comes in the book of Revelation he has to die again yet he died during John's time so when we are talking of John we are talking of somebody who received a replication of spirit we are not talking of somebody who is Elijah in flesh and there is no more Elijah in heaven no so when you receive a replication of majors anointed you do not become me but you are me man 
manifesting in you. You don't need major to die in order for you to get a double portion of what he has. No. I can be here and you can be there. Exactly major when they see you. Remember what the Bible says in the book of Kings. It says, Elijah used to wear a leather belt. His clothes were leather. And when John came, wearing the same thing, even the fashion was the same. I have spoken some few things right there. So if you see power coming out of you, you have the power of major. But if your dressing has not started changing in the order of major, you know there is no replication whatsoever. to change your work for all to change the way you speak all to change even this work all to change yeah, I'm not talking to somebody right now so yes if you believe it you can't be mixing red with yellow and green in the same category and you say I have replication you are crazy The definition of poverty is not whether you don't have a car, you don't have a house, it's only one thing. If you don't have enough to feed others, you are poor. If you have just enough for yourself, one house, one car, or whatever it is, or maybe it's a minibus that you take every day to, to work, you are still poor. You are rich if you can have that and also be able to give someone. We have a lot of people that say have money. You have money, but can you feed somebody who is not you? If you have not taken up a duty somewhere to feed somebody, to help someone, to even buy a t-shirt for someone, you are a poor person. No matter how you convince yourself, you are very poor. The point is, if you give because you want a hundredfold, you are just a calculating person. You are not giving. If you give because your name shall be on a plaque somewhere in church, you are marketing your name. It's just a trait. God does not take that as giving. We are talking about money with a mission. Money to finance the gospel. Money to even give in order for one nation to be saved in one day. The kingdom of God is not in words. But in the demonstration of power. sister mama and daughter and son listen to me if you want a replication of anointing there are levels of searches you ought to do and I will be dealing with that in a few minutes replication doing what a man does cabron de la tahika papa izo yekate You see, it, 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 it's something that is on the inside. You just feel it. You, you feel it in your bones. Yeah. Huh? When you walk, you know, people say, Garka, you say. <laughs> when you walk in the street, they say, John. You know your name is John. Yeah. Maybe you're called John Mark. You're walking in the street like this. Someone says, John Mark. You don't, know, you don't hear him. When they say, Angel, you say, Hey. You are now answering for I don't know if I'm talking to some people here. Bring it up. Bring it on. You don't 
don't understand. Amen. You know you live in Barry. That's where you live, you know. But you can just wake up one morning, come to church. When you're about to go, you just get into a combi. Where are you going? Borodo. You know yours is so wet. No, 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 no. You forget it. You just get in there. Why are you going? I'm going sent on. Sent on. of spirits a duplication of spirits may you catch your own today I said may you catch your own today even your house you see your food will refuse to finish your food you eat everything all the visas will come if you have replication of spirit if I still have food in my house, may yours not. Replication of spirit. Replication. A duplication. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're reading the first Corinthians 12, it tells you something like this. It says, earnestly desire. That's the first level. If you want to get duplication, uh -huh. Uh -huh. desire, Amen. want to be what major is. Mm. My God. Your problem is what do you see? Is you can only see prophecy. This is your problem. You are looking for the byproduct of who I am. <laughs> Prophetic is not who I am. There is something in the engine of angel. makes him angel go for that if you do not touch my heart there is no way you can touch my gift the pharisees would follow jesus every day but they didn't get the replication because their motive was different so you see number three is motive what is your motive why do you want to be like angel why do you want angels anointing upon your life why do you want to be like oh yeah depot why do you want to be like a boy why do you want to be like water why with me i attached the heart of my spiritual father Amen. i grabbed it oh, yes. one guy from uh from america watched the programs on on youtube and he called one of our brothers here and said brother you are in zimbabwe he said i'm in zimbabwe I'm, i left my country now i'm this country he said no this guy when he ministers ministers i i don't know why it reminds me of benson idahosa now now this is a man who doesn't know anything about me. He's seeing Idawasa in prophecy. Yet Idawasa was not doing prophecy the way I do prophecy. How come he was able to see Idawasa that I don't know of? Guess what happened? Idawasa connected to Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams is the father of my spiritual father, Prophet Victor Kosibuati. Now, a man can locate someone connected. When I began to, to do healing lessons, someone said, the only person that I can see you following is a man called F.F. Bosworth. I'd never heard of F.F. Bosworth. Then I realized F.F. Bosworth and T.L. Osborne were close. And tell us one learn some things from F.F. Bosworth and then tell us one to Idawasa. Idawasa, Archbishop Duncan Williams. Archbishop Duncan Williams, Boate. Boate, moi. Anyway. Now, how does it take place? It's because whatever is in somebody has been replicated. I feel like I had five people who understand what I'm talking about. There is a replication. Don't 
ask for impartation anymore. Replication. You see, I like what Bishop Oyedepo says. He said this thing. He said, there is no great man of God anywhere in the world. There is only a man of God with the great grace of God inside them. Tell your neighbor, there is no great man of God anywhere. There is only great grace inside men of God. What is he saying? His point is not that there are no people called great men of God. His point is a man goes to another point or gets to another higher level in the spirit by getting on other men's feathers. You can only fly on other people's feathers when you are starting. Say feathers. Say those with no feathers have no feathers to fly on. church full of orphans and they still want what is in angel what is in makandi what is in board what is in jealous when they want it but what they want with those men of god is association not submission if they only know my father is angel uh, listen to me you can only get to the level where you become like the man you want to be when you understand the best thing i can do is to submit and when you submit and get the replication of that spirit be able to tell the people the truth because we got people who get an impartation or replication of spirit but they want to act like they've been doing it for a long time Point to a man and say that's the genesis of what I do. It is very difficult. But you need to understand Elisha dies of a disease. Yet he has a double portion of a replication of gift. Yet the one who gave him goes to heaven and does not die of a sickness. Just because you can do what the man who gave you does. It doesn't make you higher than that man. Oh, you are slow. When you want replication, you desire earnestly. Desire is your first thing. I want this. Not the gift upon a man. No. I want what makes him him. When you replicate a gift, you get what that person is getting. Amen. You cannot have drought in your house when I don't have drought. I said you cannot have drought in your house when I don't have drought in my house. Maybe somebody doesn't get what I'm talking about. I said we live in perilous times. Where even chameleons, people are eating chameleons. Remember in 1992, people were eating chameleon. Chameleon going like this. You are slow in time like this. <laughs> we don't have beef and you walk like this. Speed is necessary. I said speed is necessary. Should, should I be? I want to cross the, Should I go to the, their church? I'm still measuring. You measure. <laughs> what do you have? I'm broke but I'm measuring. You are measuring and you are broke. You have even time to measure. Replication. Shout replication. Of gift. Listen. Replication of a gift is attaining the level of another man's spiritual status. You no longer need to pray 24 hours a day. No. Why? To attain that level, no. There are only four things you ought to do. 
earnestly covet. Do you know what to covet is? Covet, you know covet? Well, I can't explain to you. I coveted my wife for some times before I got married to her. It's like saliva coming out like this. That's coveting. Now that's the interpretation. Covet, you do it earnestly. You want what the person has. If you can have a chance, you want to go and sleep next to them like this in their house like this. Any opportunity you have, you want you you, you don't measure. Is it right to greet him like this? Eh? Should I? Eh, you see, some people when they meet, come baby. Some people when they meet the men of God, they say, Ah, Are you sure you can hug a man of God from there? You want what he has? Hey, angel. <laughs> There is an awe, a reverence you should feel something inside him. How many want replication? I said, How many want replication? You begin to act like I act. It's no longer the power people see, it's no longer the power, it's now the ability plus the character. The way of doing things. You want to get married. Even the class of the girlfriends you move with. It's now. It's now different. So you want to buy a car. You see. You no longer need to train yourself that the Bentleys are good cars. This, you find yourself looking for them. Like yeah. I think this one does it. I speak may being broke leave you may being broke leave you I said may being broke leave you there is replication of gifting you can touch the wire of God we have to show the world that there is a level called replication you can be like the men you respect you can act like the men you respect you can look like the men you respect you can walk like the men you respect walk with vigor and with compassion and also with authority when people want to talk to you they have to get there and say do you know prophet angel you are in an interview job interview say um how many subjects do you have he say three he said you have written that before you met me three three subjects uh, all level they interview you interview you two three questions into it they say wait i just wanted to ask do you know prophet angel I said oh yeah he's my father oh, okay okay so that's the end of the interview now you have uh, replication of a gift replication of anointing replication of spirit the kingdom of God is not in words but in the demonstration of power Miracle TV God protected. People of prayer do, do not, not gossip. gossip. They, they do, do not slander. They, they do, do not skim. They, they do not talk against, against other people. people. Why? Because, because their, their words are spent during prayer. prayer. For words, words are spent in prayer. prayer. So, so we, we do, do not gossip, gossip because, because we are people of prayer. prayer. All our words, all our words are spent in prayer. Are spent in prayer. We do not slander because we are people of prayer. All our words are spent in prayer. So we do not have words left to slander. The kingdom of God is not in words but in the demonstration of power of power
Elijah manifesting in Elisha. It's no longer you pretending to be me. Is it there are some people? That's no wonder you get some people to speak the same way I speak. Copy my voice, copy my step. But still, there is no power out of it. And even if you hear the same words I said on Sunday, word for word, they no longer have transforming power. Yet they are the same words, done in the same voice. Why? It's not replication of spirits. It's people playing. It's like it's a joke. I said it's like it's a joke. May you receive replication. I said may you receive replication. May hunger not touch your house. I said may hunger not touch your house. Whatever does not touch my house may not touch you. So I received replication from my spiritual father. And the replication I received from my spiritual father, it came to me. And when it came to me, suddenly I could no longer be broke. It was not possible. But men of God, what is the quickest way? The quickest way is to sow into the anointing of a man you want gifted from. Uh, uh, somebody says, but, 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 men of God, I don't know what do I need to do with the seed if I bring it. What? Let me explain to you. One of our acquaintances in the ministry had a big farm and he would pray for his crops every time and the crops came out everything. Then he sold the farm to a worldly uh, couple and they put ganja in the whole field. And uh, I'm telling you, it was the biggest harvest of ganja they have ever had. And he said, I don't know why my field never cried out and said, I'm a Christian land. I'm a Christian land. I don't give ganja. <laughs> Do you know why it produced the ganja? It's because land and seed are already programmed to produce. They don't care what you do with them. They, they've got a program inside them to give. Uh. When land sees a seed, immediately, land says, I need to bring it out. When seed is put there, it already has a program inside it to germinate. That's what it knows. When you give your seed to a man, there is no need for you to pray for your seed. The seed knows why it's there. You don't pray for the soul. You don't pray for hey, angel, pray God to oh, protect angel because I saw no. Angel, if he saw you, he will know. I produce. That's what we call the law of the seed. It understands that I need to germinate. And land knows if you put seed in me, I will give it the condition for it to come out. So, no wonder you can put maize and it will grow. <laughs> That's so why my son was ministering and, and I began to explain to him about, um, about how replication of giving. He said, this is why Joseph uh -huh. in the Old Testament is the same as Joseph in the New Testament. The Joseph in the New Testament ran away to Egypt. The one in the New Old Testament also went to Egypt. The one who went to Egypt in the Old Testament was accused of trying to sleep the one in the New Testament, they are saying, how can you just say your wife is pregnant by the Holy Ghost? It's you. <laughs> All of them are carrying deliverance for their nation. This one is carrying deliverance for his whole country. And 
that one is carrying deliverance in the form of Jesus. What had happened between them? There was replication of spirit. That one builds Egypt. And this one is a builder by profession. That's why they call him a carpenter. I think that's what you think he is. The word there is the word stone mason, which means a builder of houses. Who was a real estate guy. Oh, Jesus was poor. People with money now are the people in real estate. And men of God, but that one, that Joseph was very rich. The Joseph we find in the New Testament is called and is sent to be texted in his home area. Well, how do I know that? Because the Bible tells us that they were sent for, there was a census, and census was only for working families. Mm. Mm. They would not count you if you were not working. Yeah. I was watching Oye Depot steps, and there it came. I looked at the messages. I was listening to the messages, messages. Then I went to this message called Miracle Job. Listen. It's called what? And I said, God. Miracle Job. How can there be a miracle job? He said, because there is miracle money. I decree and declare miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. I said miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. A time for miracle jobs. If you want promotion, this is the time to apply for it. We now need a level of people who understand. When I look at a man I want, I look at them and say, this is the man that has got the thing I like. What do I need to do? I saw into their life. Oh, what do you mean saw? Every human being is a warehouse of seeds. Your smile is a seed. A wink is a seed. A waving of your hand is a seed. Your time is a seed. Talking to me and giving me time to talk, it's a seed. Why then does God require money more than seeding in this way? It's because God is after the thing you don't want to give the most. Now somebody said to her, prophet, you don't understand. The Bible says, seeking the kingdom of God first. And everything else shall be given unto you. No problem. Jesus said, when they shall say the kingdom is at hand. Then they say, there, there. Do not believe them. For the kingdom is inside you. Jesus always. Now do I need to seek it? When God said it's there. I have it with me. Why should I be searching? Only a fool searches for a thing that he already has. God said, no, don't believe them. The kingdom is already inside you. The kingdom is already where? Inside you. So if the kingdom is inside you, what does it mean? I already know one thing. I no longer need to seek for it. It's inside. Now what am I left with? The Bible says, and his righteousness. Wait. Notice, the Bible did not say, come, come son. The Bible did not say, in your righteousness. His. Not mine. Huh? So, am I looking to be right, or I look for his right? Do I need to be right, or I work with his righteousness? Do you know what righteousness means in the Greek? It means the right standing with God. So he says, seek ye the kingdom of God. If I say, where is the kingdom of England? You will point to Britain. 
If I say the kingdom of Russia, you, you know kingdom of Russia somewhere. How come when we say kingdom of God, we are still looking for it? <laughs> now, righteousness means right standing with God. I don't need to be right. I work with this right standing with God. So I just stand here. Whosoever wants to look at me, they look at his right standing and they see me. The Bible says it is no longer I that live it, but Christ living in me. I am crucified with Christ. Oh, two of us, we are crucified together. Nevertheless, I live. Oh, so Christ is not there. Yet not I, but Christ. Okay, so angel is not there. It's Christ. So the moment I receive him, I have received his right standing with God. Not mine. Me, I'm very bad. I can't even be in right standing with him. When people say, I, I made a covenant with God. You. You made a covenant with God. With all your sins, you can make a covenant with you. Even God agreeing to make a covenant with you. With all the way you change. If I make a covenant with God, it will end two minutes, it, I'll be lucky. Said, okay, let's make a covenant, I'll prosper you, but you don't sin. Two seconds, I look at my sister and say, why is she smiling? God says, it's canceled the covenant. You know how bad you are. But when I leave, that's why God had to die on the cross. It had to be Jesus. Listen to me. If Jesus was God, hello, dying on behalf of men, it will be God trying to appease men and I will still be out of the equation. That's why Jesus had to be God and men. So that I get involved inside it. But remember, it's still Jesus dying on the cross, not you. That's what the Bible says, you were inside him. But you didn't feel the pain. Then it says, if you continue to sin, you are crucifying Jesus. I knew, ah, ah. But I thought we were being crucified together. What am I saying? I'm saying only Jesus can make a covenant with God on your behalf. Because Jesus is the only one who cannot break his sight of the deal. You will break it two seconds after signing it. In fact, while you are signing the covenant, you are even thinking of breaking it. <laughs> so he says, seek his right standing and everything else. I want to know what is everything else. If you go to, the, to two, three verses before that verse, do you know what it says? It says you cannot save God and money. Then he says, seek the kingdom of God first. And then everything else. What is everything else? Thank you. So now I have money now. That I need to follow now. No. It says, it shall be added unto you. I don't need to search for it. It's... That is why my sixth rule of money is money respects value. Okay. Maybe you didn't hear that. Say to your neighbor, money, money. respects value. Yes. Tell that neighbor of yours, you need to listen. Okay. Kilograms measure weight. Grams measure weight. Liters measure what? Water. Okay. Hello. Amps measure what? Watts measure what? Money measures value. So money is not an object. The twenty dollars you have in your hands is not money. It's a measurement of value. The problem with black people and Africans is we are looking for something that measures value instead of the value that gives you. Yeah, you soon not getting my point. Okay, you go to the to the butchery, right? You have meat up to here and it's put on a scale, huh? We are together?
and they have these things called weights. Ever had seen them? Yes. Written one kg, stuff like that. You, I know, you know. Anyway, uh, and these cages, if they remove those weights, do you still have money? Do you still have meat? No. Yes, you have meat. Meat is here on the scale, and they put weights, and they remove the weights. Do you still have meat? Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Why? Because these weights are only a measurement of weight of the meat. So when you want to get money, you increase your value by the person you go under. Uh, and money will come to measure your value. I feel somebody is not getting what I'm talking about. That's why rich people can be broke today. Or you can take their money illegally or whatever it is you can do something and take their money they will tell you all i need is more time and i'll get exactly the same thing back why because they have not lost their value what they have lost is the measurement of value so money measures value we had a businessman way back in zimbabwe way back way back who was very rich but they when they died they realized he wasn't uh he, the things that he was putting as surety they were not even there not that he cheated them they didn't even require surety from him when they gave him loans why he was in nice suits every day to the extent that he would go to a bank and say i want two hundred thousand and the bank would issue him why the people you moved with and the suits you wore he increased his value to the extent that the banks gave him the measurement of his value. You are still not getting my point. That's why you see some people getting married to some handsome person who is really broke. And you wonder why? It's because they did not measure value in the right way. increase your value you increase your prosperity I said increase your value increase your value I know one of my friends the girl that he managed to pull was actually a girl who sat next to him in church and he was wearing this good perfume and this lady just said I like the way you smell forget the face this smell here Increase your value, tell your neighbor, increase your value, increase your value, increase your value. It's just like I feel you, I feel you, you know. I'm with you on this smell here. Wow, the scent is like, woof. The next day, the men knew, I need to just wear the same thing and go to hair. Three, four weeks into it, I love you me too and the person we're saying me too no longer knows is because of the perfume value had increased i said if you increase your value you increase your money money only comes to show you that you are worth this it's a value measurement like kilograms measure weight money measures value so what do you do to get money increase your value now i want you to i want to show you something that is bad in a way for religious folk the bible says if you are not faithful in unrighteous money why would i make you ruler over spiritual things that's god speaking if you are not faithful with money we can't be in fact the bible says if you are not trustworthy you cannot be trusted with money you cannot be put ruler over spiritual things so how does god measure a person in order to give them spiritual gifts how do you handle money did i i think i'm preaching better than they're saying amen 
if I give you ten dollars and you can't be trusted, then I cannot trust you with spiritual things. So how does God measure who to give spiritual gifts? If he comes here, God says, how does he measure? He will look around and say, okay, who is using their money in the right way? Some people say, Jesus, if he comes to church, he will be with the lighting department because he's the light of the world. He will be, the, will be with the ushers because he is the way, the truth. Huh? He will be the wash, in the worship team because he is the lion of Judah and Judah means praise. No, we know Jesus came to church and he was waiting and looking in the offering basket. And he's, That's it. You know Jesus is prophetic but he's looking in the offering basket. <laughs> Even if he doesn't go there, you will know what they are putting. But boy, no. He went and started looking. So you get that one, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> then came this woman who gave two mites. Ah, religious people are happy. Look at this. These people are giving two mites. Two. Two. You see, this church is one more money. This woman gave two mites. Are you crazy? Jesus was not commenting on two mites. No. He was commenting on the percentage of giving. He said, though she gave two mites, she gave all she had. 100% of her wealth, she gave it. You with your two million, you give $1,000. You have not given so it's the percentage not the amount if you are sitting there you with your 20 dollars and offering is called out and you give 10 dollars you are joking you have not given you are playing with god the person who will come and give one dollar will even have a better husband than yours why because they only had one dollar 20 and they gave one dollar Are you learning something? How many can say, man of God, I want replication. I want replication. Covet earnestly. Covet, remember, one of it is by God's prerogative. When God chooses that I want him to get the replication. But that person should be coveting. Another look for submission, not association. Then fourth, begin to sow into the person's life. Be found doing something that when people come to your house, they say, oh, this, this might be angel here. The kingdom of God is not in words. Of power, of power. Miracle TV, God protected. I will explain my God how He is set in the beginning of time, in eternity past. He was there before the beginning began. He sits alone in the circumference of Himself. He is August. By definition, he is the uncreated creator of the universe. He has no beginning. In fact, his name does not allow him to have beginning because he's called God. And God is the uncreated creator of the universe. So I serve a God of the impossibility. A God who doesn't have to have votes to be in power. You can't vote him out. You can't vote him in. You can't replace him. He has no predecessor. He has no successor. G.O.D. Now available on DVD. Get your copy today. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in the demonstration of power. Of power. You, need, you need specifically one thing. Guard yourself from people who speak against the voice of God. True, Papa. That's, huh? true. That's true. Because for you to be here right now, they have spoken a lot against me. That's true. And I That's don't know true. how you have managed to conquer this fear and said, I'm going there anyway. That's true, Papa. 
isn't it a wonder you are coming there and I tell you go to the front you are a man of God it's like this is a man of God that's true Papa I'm the founder of Divine Love Ministries I'm the senior pastor there which country? Zimbabwe I'm Zimbabwe yes. All right. now look at this As I sing this song, the Lord, like a fast rushing wind, as a wave of mighty waters, will be dropping in mantles. May you catch your own. Sina sadi go prali shalanto, asada de, asada de. Kebiro na la sadi la neko sadi brondel, la sadi de. The men of God, don't worry what they say. After you leave this service, they shall be saying a lot against you. Jesus. They will say you have not understood it. But I want to zero in on something. There will be a wave of the spirit when you get to your church. Jesus. Miracle signs and wonders begin to happen. I see, Papa. I and see. people will wonder. Sini no mosali kabra ese ibosh. Sasha prokoto lena matsu di gata. Berina kosha. Berina kosha. Ika no matsu di ata dobo. They say. They will say. After a few weeks of healing. They will begin to say. There is something you have received that is not of God. <laughs> and you shall look at them and say, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I receive, I receive. <laughs> Your world shall
shall be shocked. I said, your world shall be shocked. I receive, Papa. I receive. And go and tell your wife. Yes, Papa. Huh? Uh, I said, go and tell your wife. Yes, Papa. I see a dead child. Thank you, Papa. Menino soka di Brahila do. Asu no ba mani gali ko prende lo sa. I've got two children. Because right now I see two children. Yes, Papa. I've got two sons. The one that shall be called Joshua, that is Joshua, he will be anointed. Yes, Papa. That's a son called Joshua. You have a son called Joshua. Yes, Papa. Because I saw the voice of a prophet upon his life. And that's why I knew there is a second son. And this one is a boy that will be with the name of a prophet. Yes, Papa. There is a prophetic mantle upon that child. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. I receive, Papa. I receive, Papa. I receive it. How can a man of God tell you, I'm seeing two children? Then a man of God tells you, this person with the name of a prophet, is it your second child? What? How can a man like me, do I know you from anywhere? No, you don't, you don't know me, How then do I get to a level where I tell you about two children? You are where I tell you about the second child? You are where I tell you the name of the prophet here that I see? Ah, thank you, Papa. I receive. You are a man of God, Papa. You shall get to a level where they shall say a lot. They shall begin to speak. Even your finances will begin to change. Thank you, Papa. I receive yes. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Because Papa. I looked at him, and the Lord said, "The people that he has, no, they, they are not many at all." That's true, Papa. That's Very true. few people. That is true, Papa. But then I saw the international trade fair. You know the in yes, Flower. I know this, Papa. Is it I saw you having a conference there. Jesus, I receive. I receive. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Because it's like one day you heard there was a meeting there. The meeting was for Prophet Utaunash at the ZITF there. Yes, Papa. And in your spirit, you say, one day we will be able to fill that place as well. Yes, Papa, that's true. It shall be so in the name of Jesus. I receive it, I receive it, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Which part of Blawayo? We are in Golomani. You are in Golomani? Yes, Papa. There is an action that will also come upon you. Right now, you do it in a small, small measure where you are dreaming things. You are seeing things in dreams. But I heighten it by the authority of the Holy Ghost. I receive, Papa. I receive. I receive, I receive. In the name of Jesus. Say Satu Taliga. Kansaliga Grossana. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in the demonstration of power. If you are here, if you are here and your prosperity is not as quick as you want it to be, I decree it there. Stand up, teach. Put your hand in there. Do you see there is no indication of anything? Yeah, there's nothing. Okay. Look through it now. Do you see anything? No. 
Okay, what about this? Yes. Inside. Not here. No, here no, I know you see. Yeah, okay. You, you see this. <laughs> I want inside. I can't see anything. Whatever I'm holding may good sh shift you to another higher dimension. Listen to me. Listen to me. He said she was like. Thank you, Papa. Let me tell you something. What will happen? Because this one does not tell the whole story. I saw you people. I saw one of your other people, like a, a, a girl. It's Slim, slimmer than you, though. This one I'm talking about. And I'm seeing her getting to a plane. Listen to me. And there will be grace for her to go to China. Listen. <laughs> she gets to china this is after seven months Thank you, Papa. she gets to china and i'm seeing expanding their business Thank because you, this Papa. is applying now they want to do this thing of selling bond papers and bond papers and things like this but i'm seeing printers they will get into printing Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Because as I held it, these are people are blind. They formed this company and yes, Baba. It's true, Baba. they just want to provide for you know like rubbers, pencils. It's true, Baba, stationary, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> So I saw someone going all the way to China, even getting even printing machines, where they will begin to do printing, printing, printing. In fact, one of your people was even thinking, let's buy something like a machine in South Africa, so that we, <laughs> thank you, Bob, <laughs> so that we don't. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can get a father who will see a thing before you tell him. See what will happen seven months from now. Tell you the type of business you are getting into. Tell you the plans that another person has. Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, every chain. Break every chain to break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain now let me explain to you now this is two of you this person the third one who is doing this thing uh, I'm coming and telling you about your guy. Okay? Because this is where it is disturbed. You can throw it, Professor. Because I, I need to deal with this third one. As I'm looking at this person, no, God says, no, this is not the one. There is a. Because of time. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in the demonstration of power.
listen wherever you are I don't know whether you are seeing me or you're not seeing me I saw someone with a small beard wearing a black t-shirt there's no beard a small beard I think his name is Abraham he needs to meet Abraham you are black t-shirt Abraham okay this is a problem. My ability to make money, may it be your ability. I receive it, Papa! I receive it, Papa! I receive it, Papa! I receive it, Papa! I don't have time. The kingdom of God is not in word, but in the demonstration of power. Of power. Quickly come. come. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. We don't have time. We really need to move. There is an unction that is coming upon your lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For prosperity. Thank you, Jesus. Because your life as I'm seeing it, it's a sorrowful life. Many things don't have not happened that you were expecting to happen by this age now. That's true. You were That's expecting true. many things to have been accomplished that, by that, now. That is correct. That is but correct. But it's like everything you try to do does not work. But you see, I'm seeing this thing that you are about to do. This new business that you are about to do. Thank you. I'm seeing something being built. I was seeing plans for something to be built out of this business that, that, that he wants to do. It's that, a brand new thing true. that, that he wants true. to start. And you've been working from home right now. That is true. That but is now true. you want to build something so you can start the business. That's there is correct. an unction for prosperity that is about to come upon you guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You see, but one thing, men of God one thing and I have to say this I have to say this because I know today is the day of your salvation the very you. prophetic day today I want you to, 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 to get this right if there is no harmony between yourself and your wife nothing will ever work no matter what you try to do harmony is the music of heaven that's what harmony is if there is no harmony between you two no matter what you try to do whatever business it will never work in Jesus name so what you need to do is when you go home you need to start this marriage from from the beginning okay thank you, mom. are you thank going you. to start afresh thank you mama when you get home start afresh from start thank you Jesus do you want to prosper very very more much. than anything more than anything so treat your wife right it's very very that. important thank that you, you do thank that you, thank you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you. May God increase you. May God increase you. May God increase you. May God increase you. 80. 89. My brother Who was born was 89. Born, my brother was born 89. It's your brother? Yes, mommy. Is he here today? No, he's not here. Okay, I'm seeing 89 here. Who is 88 over there? Is there Isha? Something is yes, my, my last born son is uh, 88. He's what? Eight. What's his name? Buddha Kwashi. Uh. May God increase you. May God increase you. May God increase you. I banish sickness from your par from your parents. I'm seeing sickness. And the same thing that I'm seeing on him, like blood pressure, this diabetes, it wants to now develop into your bones being too brittle the doctors will now say the bones are not functioning well it's the same thing that i was seeing that's coming upon your father amen and mommy. we need to cover him in prayer amen mommy. and who is t in your um, family it's me i'm tandazan it's you yes mom and who is mash or something mash or something who is mash huh? your name is what mashiri mashiri <laughs> the hand of the Lord is upon you today 
Rejoice, be glad, and put the devil on the run. Don't allow the devil to destroy this relationship. She's a godly woman, and you are a godly man. Never allow anything to come between you two. It's a serious error. In the name of Jesus. The kingdom of God is not in words. Mama, don't this stand up. This thing that you are getting is not a problem. Okay. Thank you. You came here. Who did you come here with? Um, with that lady. Who is that lady? The other that lady. Come. You also, you. this is a problem. You in your family, marriages don't work as well here. Yes, man of God. Marriages do not work. Just like here, yes. marriage do not work. Yes, man It's of like God. people are left as widows, some are left as just husbandless. Yes, man of God. With you, there's one thing that is preventing something from happening from, to you. Because now there was going to be some pains that were going to be developing here. Mm. And because of one thing, mm. forgive mm. and forget. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Forgive. Amen. Because I looked at the air and I saw Vindog written. And then I saw a child in Vindog. And I That's saw that true. the father is not even there. That's true. That's true. Where is, your, where is the Vindog. father? He's late. He's dead. He's dead. Yes. Now, but you see, remember this time. They lied to you. Huh? Yes. They lied to you. People didn't tell you exactly what the doctor said about him. That's true. That's true. Man. People are trying to put cancer and diabetes is the problem. That's true. It's not the problem That's at all. True. That's, That's true. not the problem. That's true, man of God. And someone even tried to say this is anemia. It's not anemia at all. That is true. Oh this is corruption in the blood. <laughs> this man here was turning Kululu and Kalala. <laughs> it was not now this was no longer a straight marriage it was no longer a straight marriage but your pain yes. now is on one thing the relatives and some of the people even while she was dead they were planning to take things they have already take everything they've taken everything now that's true that's and now you in your heart now you are angry about it yes why why would they take everything that my husband went for that's true that's true listen to me you came here there is a replication of spirit for you to pursue. Oh Lord, I have seen you in Jesus' Glory. Glory. So there is replication of spirit for you to yes. prosper. There is replication of spirit for this lady to prosper. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And how old is your daughter? She's 17. She's 17 now. Yes. I want you to understand. And today is the 17th. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know what 17 March is? This is the day St. Patrick's died. Uh, St. Patrick's is the man that I told you who managed to banish the snakes from Ireland. The real St. Patrick's was dangerous. So in this church, we love St. Patrick's. We don't really care what people think. May God shelter you under the shadow of his protection. God is going to shelter you and show you his mercy. I love you all. Spirit Embassy. It's more than a church, more than a vision. It is a revelation.